Hey guys, what's up? Pappy here. Thursday, April 27th. Hey, I ever tell you the story about my best friend? It's a true story. Um, oh, I guess about 20 years ago. My best friend, we lived on this farm. And my neighbor um, that lived, oh, probably maybe about a quarter of a mile from me. He was a turkey. Yeah, his name was actually was Tom. Well, Tom would come over like three or four times a week. We'd watch TV and sit on the couch, you know, and have a couple of beers. And, you know, <clears throat> his favorite shows were like bird shows, you know. We'd movies, a couple of movies, Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Bird Talk and and any bird, you know, related, related uh, movies, you know. The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. He loved that movie. I think that was his favorite. So, I was getting married. And, you know, I had cousins. I had uncles. I had, I, you know, they had brothers and stuff like that. But I felt obligated to ask my buddy Tom, Tom Turkey there, to be my best man. So, Tom, I asked him one day. I said, Tom, and, you know, he... He said, yeah, Jerry, what's up? So I said, hey, I said, do me a favor, buddy. He said, oh, well, if I can, you know. So uh, I says, uh, in a couple weeks, I'm getting married. You'll be my best man. He said, sure, why not? He was ecstatic. Flew all over the, all over the parlor and stuff. Went outside, flew around the house, you know. You know, he says, hey, I'll be back. I got to go tell the wife. So I went home, told Mrs. Turkey. Mrs. Tom Turkey, you know, you know, and he had, you know, he he, he had little turkeys, you know, his, his family down there, nice family, you know. I used to hide them out at Thanksgiving so nobody would just come by and take them, you know, in the family. He hid at my house, he felt safe. So anyways, he stood up in the wedding and we got married and, you know, nice guy, you know. That day, you know, he got to drinking and stuff like that and drank a little too much, he was kind of cocked. <laughs> so, you know, so I told him to go home, you know. He said, no, I'm not going home. What do you think, I'm a chicken? So I said, no, Tom, you're a turkey. So he said, what do you think, I'm a jive turkey? I said, no, I said, you got to go home. You've been drinking too much. So Tom's wife, Mrs. Turkey, took him home. And the kids were already home. They were, his uh, mother was watching him. But, uh, yeah, that's, I just wanted to tell you a story about my best friend, Tom. Good friend. He's still living to this day. He still comes over. You know, he's older now. He's kind of tough. Nobody even wants him, you know, at Thanksgiving. But, yeah, he's a good dude, Tom. You know, he still comes over for a couple of beers. And, yeah, we watch some sports now, you know. You know, he likes watching fly fishing and stuff like that, and, you know. So... But anyways, yeah, that's the story. Just a little quick story of my uh, my friend Tom, Tom Turkey. You know, um, good good people. You know, they were good people. And I guess every Thanksgiving, I he asked, if, you know, a couple of days before Thanksgiving, because I don't, I keep him in my house. You know, if some crazy person comes around in, and tries to get him for Thanksgiving. You know, so. Yeah, I just want to guys tell you a little story about about Tom. It meant a lot to me, you know what I mean? It still does. You know? I just hope you enjoyed my little story about my best friend. It was Tom Turkey. Stood up on my wedding, true story. I have the pictures too. Someday I'll put them on. Tom Turkey was my best friend and still my best friend. Okay guys. Talk to you later. We'll talk with Pappy. Bye.